Hello and welcome back. Today we're reading Life and Death. Let's see how this goes. There's um there's some volume involved here. So I think it, it gets a bit loud, so just a warning right there. Mom. 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 I'm cold. Help me. Young. Young. Young, where are you? Young? Mom. Help. Young, you're alive. My daughter. I'm cold. You're alive. You're alive. Mom, I... Young, no, don't leave. I don't want to die. Mom! No! 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 Life and Death The story is a dramatization of a true story which occurred in a hospital. My daughter Young died of a pulmonary... <sighs> Let's try that again. My daughter Jung died of a pulmonary embolism during liposuction. They say she was innately at risk of it, so why didn't they know before? Isn't this a case of medical malpractice? Even if I had asked, there was no way to know for certain. I should have been there with her during the procedure. My poor daughter. But the dream is so vivid. It's as if I can still hear her voice. Mom, help. Even now, it feels like she's still alive. So cold. Why did she say that she's cold? Could it be? Ah, uh, ah, uh, young. My daughter, show me my daughter. She's alive, she's still alive. Please, just calm down. Look, you can't just barge in there, ma'am. What's going on? It's Hei Young's guardian, 
the girl who died in the emergency room yesterday. She suddenly said she saw her in a dream. But the death certificate has already been signed and the body is in the morgue. If the Guardian wants to see for herself, it's certainly allowed in the procedures. Why not? Just show her. But she's so agitated. Plus, aren't they cascading the body today? I have to go right now. Hey, hurry up and follow her. Try to calm her down. Ma'am! Young. Hurry up and open it. Ma'am, try to calm yourself and take a step back. Young. This can't be. Uh, ha Ying, 20s, pronounced dead as a result of a pulmonary embolism due to lengthy anesthesia during liposuction. Corpse enshrined in the morgue. She miraculously began breathing again in the morgue, but soon died due to shock and hypothermia resulting from being in a dark and enclosed space. Ah. Ah. Young. Mom, I'm cold. Help me. Mom. Wait. Don't close the door. I think there's something written over there. Let me go inside. W what? Ma'am, we should report this to the police first. Oh. Oh. Oh! The surgeons? The surgeons were changed? Alright, Young. Could you count to ten for me? Sure. One, two, three, four, five. The anesthetic wore off. Now, put the earplugs in. Right. Uh, uh, sir, why the earplugs? Ah, uh, we put them in because a lot of people are sensitive to the sound of the inhaler. Don't worry, you'll wake up feeling fine. Alright, but who 
was the doctor giving me the anesthetic? I don't think the anesthetic is working properly, doctor. Shove the earplugs in deep and give her another 10 cc's. Alright, but will she remember any of this when she wakes up? It's fine. We've never had a problem with this before. Already? Yeah. Hey, come in! We've pumped her full of anesthetics, so let's just get right to it. Come on. This isn't my first time doing this. Idiot. Don't screw up again like last time. Yeah, yeah. Now, let's move her to the next room. Alright. Time to make some money. Life and death. A matter of life and death for one. A matter of fame and cash for another. That and I'll see you in the next one.